Welcome back. Uh, Ewan is doing more single player. Cause... I'm doing this against his will. Oh my gosh. You wanted to for whatever reason. Yeah. Because I am a glutton for punishment. So, uh, what's up, everybody? What's poppin'? What's, what's, what's doing? There's a trivial pursuit for Rick and Morty. Oh. How well do you know Rick and Morty? Because you wanted trivia, right? And of course, I just love this. trivia. <laughs> so, to prove you're not a Jerry, we're gonna do this Rick and Morty quiz. Oh, I already feel bad. <laughs> uh. Um, what does Wubba Lubba Dub Dub mean? There's such a long meaning to that. Uh, it's multiple choice. Okay. Is it, I'm a genius. Nope. Please leave. Nope. Let's party. Nope. Or, I'm in incredible pain. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That was the one I hadn't read yet. Yeah. Number two. What is the name of Morty's crush? Uh, and there is a visual hint that did Jessica? Uh, it's Jessica. Yes. That is one of the options, so I will try what? and... That guy made me destroy one of my own. What a dink. Number three. Uh, let's summon you. Okay. A uh, major plot point for season one is Rick left Beth behind for an extended period of time. How long was that? Uh, Ten years? Fifteen years? Twenty years? Or thirty years? Isn't it thirty? I'm pretty sure it's 30. Are you sure? If it's not 30, then I'll eat my own sock. Ooh, an entire sock? No. Okay, just half one? Just a little bit of fabric. Um, spoiler alert. Who killed Bird Person at his wedding? Uh, Tammy. They were to wed each other. <laughs> uh, da, da. It is not uncommon to catch Beth drinking what? Wine. Ah, red wine, white wine, rose wine, or wine spritzer. Ah, uh, red wine. Cause she ain't no fool. <laughs> yeah. All right, dude, Joe. Pow. In one episode, it is revealed that Rick has built a theme park inside of a homeless man. What is the name of the theme park? Ah. Uh... Organopolis, Intestine Town, Bodyland, or Anatomy Park. Anatomy Park, because it's supposed to be like a uh, Jurassic Park. Nice. Continue quiz. Don't load an ad. Perfect. What is the name of the implement that Rick uses to travel between dimensions? Ain't that the? It's a very simple name. The thing. The it's two portal words. gun. That is an option. I don't know. Rick's portal gun. I don't know. Oh, here's a really hard one. In one episode. Morty accidentally has a child who is half alien. What is the name of the species of the non-human half? Gazorpazorp. Nice. <laughs> that was actually one episode I almost missed. What are the names of the creators of Rick and Morty? Uh, Dan Harmon and... Uh... It's yeah. about right. Yeah. You you mean it's not Seth MacFarlane? <laughs> or Matt Green? <laughs> or Rebecca Sugar? Oh, uh, it could be. It could be. Uh, Rebecca Sugar is um, Steven Universe. Ah. Uh, yeah. I haven't really watched Steven Universe. When it Rock. first came out, I'd say recommend watching it. But now that it's been on hiatus for three years, don't. Don't? No. Bad now? It feels like three years. Oof. Yeah. In one episode, um, Beth shot a character who is, in fact, a family friend. What is the name of this character? Mr. Poopy Bottle. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a very mean, high IQ. You mean he didn't? Oh. 
Uh, bonus question. This is not on the test. What is the name of the dog? Uh, sn Snuffles? Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't part of the quiz. <laughs> it's just, just for shoots and giggles. Oh, next question. <laughs> uh, Name the song that Rick uses to save the earth. Uh, get Swifty. This is impossible. <laughs> Why is a fourteen-year-old wailing on a fun? I don't know all of these. What? The what? guy. Bonus beat... question: What was the name of the alien that helps Rick sing that song? Uh, the alien. He was a rapper who was also a letter. He was. I. Ice tea? Yes. Yeah. And then he becomes water? He becomes literal ice in the shape of a tea. Yeah. Do you wish to duel? Sure. Rebecca. Ooh, this is a hard one. What was Jerry's most successful advertising pitch? That would be the apples one, wasn't mm. it? All the answers have apples in them. Okay, okay. Get them apples. Big apples, <laughs> apples for you, or hungry for apples? Hungry for apples? <laughs> oh, what a show! Mm -hmm. um, last question. Ooh. Also, not a question. How would you rate this quiz? Uh, Loved it, pretty okay, or not great? Garbage trash that I want to throw in the ocean. Fair enough. Yeah. Show me your results. How'd you do? <laughs> Watch them just get angry for bad mouthing it. Oh no, you missed one. You got 11 out of 12. I am a failure. Doesn't show me which ones you got wrong. Oh, see the answers. Oh. I had to press a separate button. Uh, you got question one right. Yeah. Ooh. You got the name of. Morty's crush, yes. Mm. Number three was how long was Rick gone? Uh, you said thirty. My device won't load it. Oh, yeah, you said. I said thirty, 30. Years and it's twenty. I am so ignorant. So had you second guessed yourself properly, you would have gotten. <laughs> Had you just second guessed yourself some more? That was the only one you missed. It's not bad. Plus the bonus questions I threw in for fun. Yeah. You gonna try another one? Uh, what, what's a good topic to uh, quiz on? Uh, Simpsons. Ooh, Simpsons. There I've is... watched a lot of Simpsons. How many years of Simpsons are there? Uh, there's over 300 episodes. At this point, there's over 600, I believe. And I... Uh, I think it's season 29 or like 32, something like that. Uh, the last time I watched The Simpsons was episode 300. Ah. Uh, so it's been a while. Hey. Ooh, according to Daily Edge, they have the hardest Simpsons quiz ever. The hardest ever? Who would have. Dated May 24th, 2015. Who would be guessed to be no? Imagine if it was all. Who guest starred in this episode? You'd never be able to get it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe. I've watched a lot of Simpsons in my time. Okay. Well, let's try it then. From dailyedge.id. Dailyedge.ie. Uh, what is Homer's mother's name? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So it's the name. Uh, it's multiple choice, so you can just okay. tell me if you need a hint. I, I need a hint. Is it Martha, Maud, Mona or Muriel? Muriel. <laughs> Wrong. It's Mona. It's Mona. Ah, uh, darn. Oh, God. Which of these actors has never appeared as a guest voice on the show? Martin Sheen, Charlie Sheen, Meryl Streep, or Winona Ryder? I... That's a hard one. It's, this has been the a hardest lot. quiz ever. According uh, to 2015 Simpsons. 2015 Simpsons. It's only four years out of date. That's fine. That's fine.
Martin Sheen, Charlie Sheen, Meryl Streep, or Winona Ryder? Uh, Meryl Streep, maybe? I doubt nope. it. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. That was my second guess. M Mr. Tiger Blood himself. Yeah. The star of Two and a Half Men uh, and Hot Shots and uh, a scary movie, f Five. I did not like that intro to that one. I did not like Scary Movie 5 at all. <sighs> Those movie movies are just bad. Uh, Boy. What was the name of the restaurant where Homer was poisoned in season 2? Oh, that, uh... It's that... Sushi place where he eats the... Puffer fish. Mm -hmm. Uh... Is it the Happy Sumo? Sushi of the Sea? It's the Happy Taj Sumo. All you can eat or Up, Up, and Buffet? It's the Happy Sumo. Yes, correct. What is the name of Chief Wiggum's wife? Uh. Laura, Sarah, Rachel, Sarah. or Mandy? It's Sarah. Sarah? Yeah, Sarah yes. and Clancy. Good job. Uh. Oof. This guy's playing a little smarter. Hank Scorpio gets Homer to decide which country he likes the least, so he can destroy it. France. Um. Okay, it's two. <laughs> Italy and Germany, Germany and France, Italy and France, or Spain and Italy. So you said France, and there's two of them that have France in it. <sighs> Germany and France, or Italy and France. Italy and France. Correct. Because nobody ever says Italy. Because they say French. Yeah. But Quebec is fine? Well, I don't know. Whatever. Canada doesn't exist. Yeah, Canada's not even on the map last I checked. Oh, this is a real easy one. I remember this one. Which proposed law would see Apu and other immigrants deported from Springfield? <laughs> Proposition 21, 22, 23, or 28? Uh, 23. Correct? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Time to whoop this child. Which Paul McCartney song can you play backwards to hear a recipe for a really ripping lentil soup? <laughs> band on the Run, Live and Let Die, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band, or Maybe I'm Amazed. I have no idea. One, two, three, or four? Uh, four. Correct. Maybe I'm amazed. Well, That's count it. me as amazed. Good gosh. <laughs> this is a photo question. Name this character from Moe's Tavern. That would be, uh... He is a fellow with... Hugh Jazz? Hair. Uh, is it Mike Rogers, Seymour Butts, Hugh Jazz, or Jacques Strap? I believe it's Hugh Jazz. Correct. Yes. Ooh, this is a harder match. Uh, when the family go to goes to New York, what is the name of the musical they go and see? Uh, the Itchy and Scratchy musical. The Circle of Knife. No. Is it uh, kicking it or I'm checking in? Oh, that one. It's I'm checking yeah. in, I'm checking in, he's checking in, checking, checking in. No more. Well, you'd be wrong. It's kicking it. <laughs> it's, it's kicking it. Really? According to this question, yeah. The song is called I'm checking in. <laughs> really? Trick question. That's a trick question and a half. Oh, how disastrous. What is the name that Millhouse attempts to enter when playing the Bone Storm video game? Millpool, Thrill House, Ill House, or Kill House? Kill House. Wrong. Thrill House. Thrill House? Yeah. God darn it. What is the name of the Australian boy that Brank... The, yeah, I can't words right now. <laughs> that what is the name of the Australian boy that Bart pranks phone calls? Oh. Is it Ethan, Tobias, 
Bruno or Russell? Tobias, I think. I am a clueless boy. You got it right. Tobias. I can recall some names not too well. I know the Hugh Jazz thing because he answers the phone and he's like, Yes, I'm Hugh Jazz. Yeah. Just oh. an unfortunate name. Yep. <laughs> uh, there what was is a... the name of the town that uh, Groundskeeper Willie is from? Is it Kilt Town, North Kilt Town, or South Kilt Town? <laughs> that... <laughs> Oh, how disgustingly rude is that? Mm. Uh, north. Correct? Yes. Where they find the Loch Ness. I remember the rest of that conversation with Homer because he's like, wait a minute, that person's from not from North Kilt Town. It's like, what? you're not even Scottish. <laughs> Don't be daft, man. Of course <laughs> I'm Scottish. And he like runs away. Yeah. What is the name of Gabo's puppeteer? Uh, is a uh, um, Alfred Hollerus Arthur or L L Ludwin L Ludwin Sinclair? Yeah, sure, we'll take the last one. <laughs> uh, nope, it's Arthur. Arthur, Arthur Crandall. Uh, Arthur Crandall, no, Gabo, Gabo, Gabo. Yep. Yeah. What did Martin serve up at his birthday that made everyone ill? Uh, Malk, spelled M-A-L-K, clams, oysters, it, or tomaco? It was clams. Are you sure? It's either clams or oysters. I can't recall. Pick one. Uh, oysters, I'm going to say. Oysters, correct. Yeah. Uh, here's a question for you. Uh -oh. Are we about to end this episode? Um, you're almost done with the trivia. Okay, we're almost done with the trivia. Plus, this had to be edited together, so I don't really care about runtime. Ah. Uh, yeah. Might as well make it worth it. This yeah. will be the last video. Okay. Uh, which of these films would you not remember from a Troy McClure film? The Erotic Adventure of Hercules. That's a real one. Boat jacking of Super Ship 79. That is hard to say for some reason. Oof. Boat jacking of Super Ship 79. School of Hard Knockers. That's a real one. Or Dial M for Murderousness. It's the boat one. The boat jacking? Yeah. Wrong. School really? of Hard Knockers. Really? They you made reference to that. 9 out of 15. You are so smart. S-M-R-T. I mean S-M-A-R-T. <laughs> uh, and with the end of the trivia, that is the end of this video. Well, goodbye, everybody. Bye. Thank you for watching. <laughs>